my favorite parts are either really, really strong women or an androgynous type of character or a creature of some kind of like, you know, like the fever demon is a creature. It's a ball of fire that I love farts fire. <laughs> so I love, I, you know, those are the kind of things that I like to play. Until I went to my first convention, the job didn't seem real. And I, I'm just saying until I, until I saw, the, it was like a completion of the project when I saw the reaction to the work. Because my background is the theater and it's not voice acting. I feed off the audience. What I loved about meeting the fans was it was like, oh, this is real. Like what I do, go somewhere and people watch it. And it, it means something to them. And it, it put a weight on what I do. And uh, I mean, it really freaks me out when people come up and go, I loved you in blah, blah, blah. And I have like a teeny, 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 tiny part in it, but they remember it. It's like, I don't even remember that part, but they do. And it, it, it put uh, some weight on what we're doing. And, and the fans, have, the, the, it's the most supportive group of people as far as the fans are very loyal and generous. And, and to me, that's the best part of the job. It really is. Well, because I don't have a lot of roles and I haven't played a lot of leads, I've played a lot of little parts here and there and I kind of weave into the crowd. I don't have a lot of people rushing up to me, fans bombarding me and that kind of thing. And I like the autonomy a lot. Because um, I just like to be able to be myself. <laughs> and uh, sometimes maybe that's not... Con I don't like to have to put on any sort of... I don't know what I'm trying to say, but y the autonomy is good. Yeah. So. Well, it's weird because when you do what we do, our hobbies are our jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the stuff I enjoy to do, I get paid to do, which is awesome. So my other hobby is um, I'm a floral designer. I do weddings and corporate events. I have a uh, floral business called Frilly Flowers. Aww. I've done a Caitlin Glass wedding. I've done Stephanie Young's wedding, who played Claire in uh, Claymore. Yeah. I did Brina Palencia's wedding, who is you know the lead in everything. Isn't she Tony Chopper? She's Tony one Chopper piece? on uh, yeah. the, the what the hell is that? What one piece. That? I said hell. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah, she's fantastic. So cute. She's a fantastic voice okay. actor. So I did those weddings. Um, I'm hoping to do some more. Uh, a lot of people at Funimation are in serious relationships and getting engaged and I'm hoping I'm going to get to do some more. But the flowers are very, uh, it's a very, it's totally opposite of acting. It's still creative, um, but it's very peaceful. It's very quiet. It's very serene, and you have to be very present, just like you have to be in acting. But it's a, it's a therapeutic thing for me more than a. I just I love it. I love John Malkovich, um, Gary Sinise. Um, I'm gonna sound this is so like cliche, but Meryl Streep. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, well, there's so many. I remember you said uh, Gary Oldman. Was Gary that? Oldman's huge for me. The best yeah. actors in the world have come out of Chicago, in my opinion. Um, and this is the area where there's just so much art and creativity. I just finished reading uh, Chris Farley's biography, which, you know, he's from Wisconsin. Yeah. And uh, you know, autobiography. And that, the improv and the talent that he had and the struggles that he goes, that he went through... Um, just uh, it, the, the book touched me greatly. Um, what, he, what an incredi incredible actor. I was just in Chicago not too long ago and I went to uh, Second City. And, you know, I guess my biggest dream would have been to be able to be on Saturday Night Live. Um, I love that kind of sketch comedy and improv comedy. And so, you know, Gilda Radner is a huge one for me. Uh, I love Image and Heap, um, Mute Math. Um, why'd you just do that? I just love Mute Math. I do too. Oh um, I will also tell you, this is kind of funny because I'm going to swing a whole different direction. I'm a big John Legend fan. Are you too? Yes. Yeah, like Ordinary People, yep. that song, I'll just weep. I just weep, weep, weep at that song. I'm a crybaby. So I like music that has really, if the, the lyrics are good, I really could care less about the genre. It's, it's all about the song for me, so I'm kind of just all over the place with that. Um, I hate heavy metal. I'll tell you what I hate. 
Go for it. Hate heavy metal. Can't stand it. Not a big punk fan, that kind of thing. And I, I can listen to Sting 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> My first concert was uh, Police Synchronicity in Austin, Texas, when, like in 1984. So I'm a big Sting fan and always have been. We love Milwaukee. And um, anybody who couldn't be here, we wish we could have seen you. Hopefully we can see you again next year. And um, just thanks for being so hospitable to all of us. And um, I love you, Milwaukee.